It's annoying because, ugh, God, what you have to do to get to the boss, you need to use an effigy, and then you need to be alive, and then you need to give this guy an effigy, and he activates a portal. Then you need to go through a sub dungeon that has mass phantoms, and then you need to drop down at the end of that, and you're immediately in a boss battle. It's not very forgiving at all. Why didn't you use your rings? What rings? Of life protection. Oh, because you need to give him an effigy. It doesn't matter if you're human oh, or not. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. What fog wall are you outside of? The soul. Oh, okay. How does the audio check out? Let me see. I sound like piss, but I'm not going to be doing much talking anyway, so yeah, you're good. I'll take it. Have you been in there yet? No. I just joined the Covenant so I can... Don't they give you Titanite, Chunk? They do every time you uh, kill somebody who trespasses. But if you go in there, you count as a trespasser and you will get swarmed immediately by two phantoms, so... <laughs> really? You, you have to now, though, because you're stuck. I can warp he, out. Oh, true. It's hilarious, though, that he can't climb that, what, five-foot wall? Yeah, it's kind of bad. You are a phantom, right? You are a phantom? What do you mean? When you... Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you get summoned. Very quickly if you're in the area. Also, howdy, folks. Ooh, I may have just found a way to get infinite effigies. That's Apparently that. you can you can drop uh, prism stones to Snuggly and there's a 20% chance of getting an effigy from that and the fucking cat sells prism stones. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna see if this works. See, should have bought 99. 999. Yeah, that's a thing. I'll go do that. Yep, me too. I'm trying to right now. Also, did you find out how to get to the uh, mansion yet? Mansion? In Majula, the locked door. Oh no. There is a key in the uh, forest of the fallen giants that you can easily get to, but uh, there's a very good reward in there. How far into the forest? Um. It's kind of right outside the bonfire, but it's in a... There's sort of a trap-filled layer in there. It's If you're cautious, it's not bad at all. I died once because I was just blazing in there. There's so much of this game I haven't explored. <laughs> I know. I've beaten it and there's still a lot that I haven't done. See, I didn't know about this covenant until an hour ago. It's not even listed. I don't know how it's that unknown. How do you find it? Um, have you found the guy in the wheelchair yet? Yes. Oh, that guy. That guy, yep. If you find him two more times, he lets you in. He's in extremely <laughs> hidden areas every time, though. Did you find him in the uh, shaded ruins? Yeah. Yeah, that's where I found him the first time, too. They were about that hidden every time.
How do you say that word? Is it uh, ascetic or bonfire thing? Ascetic? Ascetic is how I'd pronounce it, yeah. Right. That seems kind of abusable. You can uh, just pick an area that has a unique drop and just get as many of them as you want. Well, I guess up to eight. I mean, what are you going to do with them? Equip eight dragon teeth. Do at it. At once. Octo wield. <laughs> My god, imagine nope. if Havel dual wielded. <laughs> That's kind of what I want to do now. I just got Havel's full set, so I just want to re uh, reroll. It's just pure 100 strength. <laughs> and then, uh, is, do you think there would be a, a power stance with the dragon teeth? <laughs> that would be so ridiculous. <laughs> Is power stance exclusive to the swordsman class? No, as long as you have 1.5 times the requirements of each weapon, you can uh, go into a power stance. How and it's not it? like a whip or something, you just hold triangle. You'll know it worked, because you didn't equ uh, just equip your left hand. You are two-handed, I mean. You're trying it. Yeah, it's weird. It's very useful. Um, I put uh, two daggers and uh, enchanted them as poison daggers. Pretty much applies poison in one L2. And poison is extremely strong. But, oh, I was going to the cat. That's right. Also, I didn't notice that dwarfy guy by the massive well until recently. After I'd only oh, yeah. down there. Oh, the one that makes the ladder? Yeah, I, I never even talked to him, I just jumped. Oh. Who are you again? I don't have enough souls <laughs> oh, to buy prism stones, goddammit. You do have a rather pleasant set the time. That's a sad day. She only sells ten of them. Yeah. Satisfied. Wonder if there's another way to get them. I remember another merchant selling them, but I can't remember which it was. Somebody allegedly has infinite of them. Which would lead to infinite humanity. You get lost in this. There's no getting around that. Oh, absolutely. I don't feel like the world is as contiguous as in Dark Souls 1. Continuous? You mean... Seamless. One area to... Yeah, no, it's definitely not. That kind of bugs me. Yeah. But at the same time, there's so many different locations that it's okay. Yeah, it's by far a bigger game. A long time to beat this. It goes 42 hours. Shut up, crow. Does Lannister call people crows? Does he no. even. I didn't think so. Let's see, first one. God damn it, fading soul, really? This is not going well. You, you, give us more. Yes, you, Their give fucking us voice. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Titanite Shark. 
Oh good, a homeward bone when I have an infinite homeward bone item. Excellent. The hell did you get that? You just get it as part of the plot later. Token of spite. When did I defeat another world's master? I know you're given one for doing something. You are, yeah, I don't remember what though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, human effigy. Seriously? Or a small stone. Not a prism stone. Uh. Yes, you! Titanite slab, I just got. <laughs> Those are entirely not as rare as in Dark Souls 1. <laughs> There's so many more weapons, so I'm okay with that. True. Yeah. There are a lot of weapons. I probably don't even have half of them. And I have over... You, you. Give up 70, some. probably? Yes, you. Give us that is obscene. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, another hey. human effigy. Are you serious? I've yet to get one. You, you. Give it most. I haven't even started with the prism stone. Fading so. Best item in the game. How many do they give you? Fifty. They for some reason created one smaller than two hundred. I wonder if they patch this or something. I hit rubbish. I have to get one for a prism stone. Oh, if you hit rubbish, it means uh, you're on cooldown for giving that item. Cooldown. Yeah, there's like a uh, natural cooldown, it seems, after maybe you give 20 items or something like that. 20 of the same item, they just start giving you only rubbish. But I've only given... What, three prism stone? Hmm. See what happens if you keep dropping them, if you keep getting rubbish. Yeah, okay, it's a word. Okay. You, you. Yes, you. Have you been to the uh, boss soul vendor yet? Yes. Anything suit your needs? Weapon wise, no. Eh. There's a uh, another hidden one. I, that, yeah, I um, think I found two. Oh, you found the uh, bird? Yes. Oh yeah, she, she's the other one. She also gives me one for free, but I can't really do anything on Lannister. True. I get to get one effigy from this. God damn it. I keep getting burrs. Yeah, me too. You know, screw this, I'm out. to get so many souls um I just got about 600,000 from farming uh, dragons what yeah there's a place where you can farm dragons and I kept using the uh, acidic thing and uh, so I was on like ng7 with them and this ridiculous 70 int requires spell that I have I've never seen a 10,000 in Dark Souls before, but I saw it. Mostly because it's so big, every single one hits him. But uh, they drop um, Soul of a Great Hero every time, in addition to their souls. Okay, where the hell is this key? Okay, it's um, 
wrong bonfire and go to the uh, Cardinal Tower. God damn it. <clears throat> And from there, what you want to do is go down. You remember that um, that long kind of tree walkway thing that it sends up. I'm... Okay, say again. You know that a uh, big ascending uh, dead tree that makes you get up here. It's just like a uh, walkway. It's a, it's a ramp, but it's made of a tree. It's gray. Kind of. It's literally like you just go across the rampart and it's to the right. Oh, I just died while... while dropping items for Snuggly because I pressed circle to back out of the menu and I just backstepped off the cliff. Good. But it's, um, you remember where the, uh, the Pursuer was dropped? Yes. It's pretty much on the opposite side of that area. So am I going the right way now? I'll tell you in 20 seconds. If you go down there, then definitely no. No, you're not. Like, from the bonfire, if you're looking at the bonfire room with that merchant on your left, the uh, you go to your right. Do I go down the ladder? No, you do not. So if I'm looking at the bonfire of the merchant on my left... You go right. Which leads to a ladder. No, it leads to a hole. Oh, you never blew up the wall. The huh. What? Yeah, that wall to your right. Oh, shit. Um, what happened? I had, the, I had the ring on. What ring? Bell ring. Oh. <laughs> I'll have fun with that. Box armor. <laughs> now I can upgrade my sword. That is literally all I want this covenant for. Yep. Once you get enough chunks, there's a certain part in the game where you can, uh, there are respawning crystal lizards, so it becomes irrelevant. I just went to the cat's room and there's like seven bloodstains in there. That is amazing. I don't even want to click them to see how the cat killed them. <laughs> now, what about destroying a wall? 
So there's a wall on your right. That um, On the other side, there's a bunch of flaming barrels. If you threw a firebomb at them, it would blow it up and create a shortcut between this area. Um, but basically, you have to get what's right outside that wall to your right. So yeah, I think you have to go around in some fashion. I don't remember the normal way of getting there. I have no idea where I'm going. It's been yeah. like 28 hours since I've been here. Yep. As soon as you find the, uh, the place where that uh, bird dropped the pursuer, or picked him up anyway, then, then you're in the right spot. Pretty cool that uh, at the uh, main bonfire, that's how you start your uh, new game plus, so you can actually do it whenever you want. Can you? I like that. The, yeah, I like that. There's no pressure after beating the uh, boss. I honestly don't remember. I've always used the shortcut. And that leads 
not to somewhere I want to go. Honestly, uh, you remember that place with the uh, sword outstretched into the water? If you hit there, you can uh, go backwards to where the guy was blocking the door, the big fat guy. Say again. Remember that, um... Remember that big sword where the uh, guy spawns behind you? Sure. If you were to head there, um, you'd be on the right track again to going backwards. Did I just deflect a firebomb by hitting it? I didn't know you could do that. Well, the guy threw one, I hit him, and it landed behind him. I don't know if it... I don't know if I hit it or if it was just a... Fubar oh, yeah. animation. I just saw that. Maybe it's actually attached to his hand's physics or something. And you made his hand go backwards. Where the hell are you? An area. I had to use the soldier key to get here. Oh yeah, this is not the right way. All right, there's a fourth. Bastard sword. So I just tried casting Firestorm, and every single random thing missed one of the uh, basilisks that petrifies you. And guess what happened? I don't even know what this does. It just kills you. Petrify? I yeah. thought there was some... Uh, I think it acts as curse as well. As in it lowers your HP. Oh yeah, it does. Great. Good thing I have all these human effigies. 